All right, man. Torture talk. You know what it's time good. it is. Sean P. Shadow Cool Radio. Yeah, you know what it is. All right, All so right. today we're gonna do uh, a six month in review of what 2020 has given us as far as music goes, uh, hip hop music. So we're gonna give our take. Who had the best? Who impressed us? And who didn't impress us? So I guess we can start, man. Yeah. So um, so let, what do we want to do? Start off with the albums. Top yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. Top. Right. Do your top five or top three. Or every, okay. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna start our top five albums so far in 2020. Uh, just off top, 2020 was a it, a pretty good year for rap. I thought this was a a, a better year than 2019, maybe 2018 as well. And we had some real impressive projects. So I'm gonna start off with my top five. Off top, and I know I've been touting uh, Allegory, which I'll get to in a minute as my best, but I gotta admit it, man, Freddie Gibbs, Alfredo, uh, number one, uh, it, it started off, um, it, it grew on me to the point where I was like, you know, this is definitely top five, but, it's at the point now where I think this may be Freddie Gibbs, arguably his best project. Mm -hmm. um, maybe as good as um, Pinata. I don't know. I mean, it, it's up there, but it definitely is my number one album this year. Um, number two. Uh, you want, you want, so you want to go? You want to go through all yours first? Um, all right. Well, yeah. Uh, we'll do. We'll do our one versus your yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, we'll do I'm that. not gonna do one. I'm gonna start at my five. My number okay. five. Uh, so, so my number five album uh, uh, this year, um, I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Styles P. Wow. Uh, Styles P. Interesting. Number five in my book. I think that. Uh, I think the album was pretty good. You know, I, I, I'm gonna have to stick with number five on Styles P. All right. Me, you know. All right, so uh, Stas P, um, Ghost David, uh, Curve Your Enthusiasm? Yeah, yeah. Or Ghosty Enthusiasm. enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. Um, since you're going to five, all right, well, you already know my number one's Alfredo. Yeah, yeah. So let me go to my number five then. Um, uh, my number five, I would have to say, um, and it's tough because there are a lot of, um, there are a lot of albums that are kind of in the same area, like, uh, uh, there's no real difference from my number five and my, my number ten or some of my honorable mentions, but I'm gonna have to go with um, Ransom Director's Cut, uh, Director's Cut Two. Yeah. The only reason why it wasn't up higher yeah. is I wanted more tracks. Okay. I wanted like I wanted to see um, maybe about like you know, you know, thirteen cuts, yeah, but. Yeah. I mean, I was listening to it this morning. Uh, this man is rapping, man. He's rapping yeah. hard. He, he's coming with what the game used to be. Yeah. I mean, it had yeah. that old, early 2000s feel. I think Ransom really came with it. It definitely made my number five. It would have been up higher only yeah. if it was um, a little bit longer. That's my only, okay. only criticism whatsoever. But, I mean, Flawless Bars, man, and the concepts, um, with all of the movie themes yeah, and yeah. also um, his concepts conceptually uh, that he had in the songs were excellent. Uh, so I'm gonna say uh, my number four, mm. I'm going to go with Eminem's uh, Music To Be Murdered By. Great pick. Uh, Great. I think Eminem has kept up with the times. I think he kind of found his I always was saying that I think Eminem should just 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 retire on a high note, mm -hmm. but I think if he did retire, this would be one of those albums he retired on a high note. I think he kept Definitely. up. He's keeping up with the times, and he finally gets to stop worrying about people and just do you. Mm -hmm. And I think that this album, to me, was uh, it was pretty it was pretty decent. I liked I liked it. I gave it my number four. You know. I hear that. Um, ju just to uh, comment on that, I like how Eminem uh, mixed in with some of the new school artists, you know, uh, 
uh, Juke's World, you know, God rest his soul mm -hmm. of, from his unfortunate passing, but, and definitely uh, Anderson Pop mm -hmm. and the Don Tolliver uh, yeah. feature, I think is maybe my, my, my most favorite song on there. Yeah. And it made me a fan. Maybe actually listen to Don Tolliver. I like Don Tolliver. I mean, yeah. he'd be one of my alternative picks if, yeah. if we were gonna, to bring that in. But um, Music To Be Murdered By, excellent selection. Um, it came close to making my top five, definitely my top 10. Yeah. Um, my number four pick, um, another street, um, street lyrical album, Stove God Cooks, Reasonable Drought. Um, this man had everything on there. He had energy, charisma, witty bars. Um, he really came with it. And this is a guy I never knew about. You know, Rock Marciano produced this. And uh, Rock Marciano really, um, I never knew he could make beats like that, man. He, yeah. he did his thing, man. So so definitely, that is my number four pick. Um, uh, Stole God Cook's uh, Reasonable Drought. Uh, excellent street, uh, street lyrical album uh, from 2020. All right, so getting into my number three, uh, Stove God Cooks was my number five, but I, mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, I think it was my number four lesson, but I put him back, I push, push it back down to, mm -hmm. um, to my number six. So he's in my, that album is in my top 10. I just think I was on the fence with him with Styles P. Yeah. And I, 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 I think Styles P to me left me with a little bit more than Stove God Cooks, even though I think they're kind of yeah. close. They're very close, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, it's like, I gave it to Styles B by a hair. Mm -hmm. uh, but my, my number three, my number three would be, uh, and again, I was on the fence with this one, with my number three, but I'm just gonna say, my number three is gonna be um, Freddie Gibbs. Uh, okay. Freddie Gibbs is um, Alfredo. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'll get into my number two later, but my, the reason why I gave that because I had got the same feel that you had got yeah. with with, uh, with with the project not being too long, but it was yeah. perfect enough to meet to meet that uh, how would I say to meet that standard. Yeah. So um, I had to give it my number three. I uh, think that uh, it when it came out, it pushed up from number 10 all the way up to yeah. number three yeah it broke it broke through so i'm gonna have to go at number three on that one it's definitely top three yeah um, yeah, 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 yeah yeah i mean yeah, you, yeah. you have to it it's it's another album of the year contender yeah. just like last year bandana i mean it definitely has to be i, I don't see it getting any no worse than yeah, being yeah, number yeah. three but um my number three pick is is a, another one that you mentioned first, yeah. and it's Styles P, uh, Styles David, Ghost Year, Enthusiasm. Again, what I liked about this one is the mature content. Um, Styles showed growth. He showed that, look, I'm still that gangster. I'm still that, that hood nigga I used to be, but I'm mature now. I'm about investing money, making moves, being a boss, bossing up. And that's what I love about this album. It showed the growth, it showed the maturity. Um, I, I mean, I, I can't say nothing more about it. You know, it's it's my definitely top three this year. Um, I, I would say at least the 8.5 out of 10, and probably one of the best projects and styles I've heard in a long time. Yeah, yeah, that that, that was pretty. That's a pretty good album. That's why it made my number five. Mm -hmm. uh, my number two, uh, I'm going to go with the allegory. Now, okay. uh, the allegory was one is one of those albums that it impressed me to the point where I kind of got that vibe of, of uh, 2015 Pimp a Butterfly yep. vibe. Yes, you know what I'm yes. saying. Yes, it definitely. made me. It it, it it wasn't Pimp a Butterfly, but it was in that area cool to mm -hmm. me. And he was rapping on that album, and he oh, wasn't just it. over rap over sure doing was. it. He, mm -hmm. he had a lot of different features in on top of that. It was very impressive because he, he made his own beats. He did his own thing. He produced it. He had a couple of people on there. It, it just mattered. That was, that was a, like yeah. I said, I'm a rapper. And if, if, if I wasn't a rapper and I was inspired to be a rapper, I would want to be uh, Royster 5'9". Absolutely, man. You know I mean? um, so he's my number two. 
that's that just happens to be my number two pick as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, what can you say, man? And again, I, you know, earlier this year I did a video saying that you can argue it's better than to pimp a butterfly. It's the same conscious vibe, but in a context of the streets, of, of you know, a nigga in the struggle. And you could really take a lot from this album. The the skits, the um, the content. I mean, the bars were all there. Every time I go to that album, I pick up on something different. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since we've been ha we had an album like that yeah. since like the early 2000s. You know, um, Roy solidified himself as I, I think this album solidifies Royce the Five Nine as being one of I would say the top 40 greatest MCs of all time his longevity speaks for itself his growth speaks for itself mm -hmm. and he took his game up another level only reason why it slid from my number one to number two was it caught towards the end it kind of dragged a little bit mm -hmm. some of the songs towards the end I'm not saying were bad but um, maybe we're just okay uh, you know, right. so um, I think the one with Ashley Sorrell at the end, and the song about his his father was heartfelt. But you know, it was it dragged on a little bit more. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if it was a little bit, you know, tighter, you know what I mean? Maybe a couple songs less. Yeah. Then I say, um, okay, uh, it may be my number one. But yeah, I, I say it's definitely no worse than number two this year. Uh, so. Before I get into my number one, I want to speak on what you said about Royce. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, uh, high, bro. <laughs> um, Royce of Five Nine may be top three lyricists of all time. Yeah. I'm just going to put mm -hmm. that out there. Like, he has too much material that is undeniable to me. Mm -hmm. From freestyles to albums. He has too many albums where he has too many quotables, too much. A lot of people can't come up with that type of material that fast, that good, so many flows, yeah. so many different type of ways of rapping, so many beats, so many different subject matters, all types of stuff. So I will put him there. But my number one, and, and it's going to be a shocker to everybody, but my number one by far. By far. By far. Wow. Is Ransom, the director's <laughs> cut, scene one and two. Okay, I so know, you put both so of them together. I, I put them together. together. I, I see. And I made it. It's 27 minutes long. I keep okay. saying it. It's 27 minutes long. Yeah. Now, the thing about this album to me is not only was I impressed, but the replay value on this album, it's like every time I hear it, it's like I never heard it before. Now, mm -hmm. side note, every time I have someone in the car, they say, who is this? Yep. Yeah. Every person that gets in my car from a female to a male says, who's this? Every mm -hmm. person, bro. Yo, could you tell the people who put you on the ransom, please? First of all. 18. First of all. <laughs> ransom and first of all. Uh, okay. You know what? Uh, That's you Jersey's know what? Zone. I give, look, 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 listen, Jersey's I'll, give, zone. I'll give you that. You did put me up on, on, uh, mm. on, what's, on uh, okay. them, but you know I got to hit you back. Thank you. Who put you, who put you up on Joe Buttons? Say what? We put you up on Joe Buck. <laughs> yeah, alright. So anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, so the album to me has such replay value. Whereas he dropping another scene, and I'm, from what I'm hearing, it's, it's going to be 13 songs on the album. So it's, it's fire, man. And I heard some of it. I heard some of it. He he did just did a recent John. We talking about August Alcina and and you heard that? Nah, I ain't it's on the Instagram is story. Is he's it? talking about he he did some bars and he talked it's about. On, you can stream it now. Nah, it's not streaming. Really? It's it's I'll, I'll play it. When but he's playing. Play. He's talking he about. Play, old, yeah, he talked Will about Smith, Will Smith. He said Will Smith. Wow. He said something about Will Smith should have cherished his woman's right. body instead of letting a young man take her body or something like that. Word. Bro, listen. I got to so, check that out. And, and what I mean by by far, I'm not taking nothing away from the other albums. I'm saying for me, the replay value was, if I'm going to listen to something every day and listen to it every time I get in my car, I'm listening to it. Now, I love hip-hop and I love all them other albums. 
But this album, I have to listen to all the time. For some reason, I just listen to See, it. See, the only time. reason why I wouldn't put it as higher up. Yeah. See, I see what you did. You did yeah. scene, one put, scene, scene one and scene two. I'm gonna. Together. This is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna go back. Yeah. I'm gonna put scene one and two together scene one and, and two see two. how it stacks up. To be fair, see if it changes. Any, yeah. but scene one it's definitely top five. Yeah. He, he deserves that. He's he's rapping. Yeah. He's he definitely top five, or do you got to do a whole? No, we did we did top five. We didn't do did top the last. We're gonna we do top three artists. That yeah, yeah. Oh, we did okay. top five. Can I, no, you come in. Come on in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Top five? Yeah. Top five? Top five projects. Hold on, hold on. Top five, real quick. Top five. Before you even do anything, hold up. Let me. It's your boy got some Coley. Hold up. 